What's going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Electronics episode 11. In this episode we are going to talk about a very important tool that you should use whenever you're doing electronics work and that tool is the multimeter. Now it's not an absolute necessity to have a multimeter whenever you're doing electronics work, However, having a multimeter and knowing how to use it properly can help you out a lot whenever you're building a circuit. For instance, if a circuit isn't working properly, you can use your multimeter to help discover the problem and hopefully fix your circuit much faster than it would take than if you didn't have a multimeter. So I highly recommend getting a multimeter even if it's a fairly cheap one and doesn't have many functions to it. So what exactly does a multimeter do? Well, a multimeter allows you to measure certain values of different things inside of a circuit. The most common ones and the ones that you should have are the ability to measure voltage, ohms or resistance, and amps or amperes. Those are the basic functions that you should have on any multimeter that you get. Many of them come with a lot more too. For instance, this one even measures Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit temperature as well as frequency and a bunch of other stuff, but you don't really need that for this series. Now, if you do go out and get a multimeter, I highly recommend that you get an auto-ranging multimeter. As you can see, this multimeter even says that it's auto-ranging right at the bottom there. Now, auto-ranging basically makes it so that the multimeter performs all the hard work for you and will measure your value perfectly. Whereas a non-auto-ranging multimeter means that you have to, whenever you're trying to measure something, input a manual range for the multimeter to work with, and you don't want to have to deal with that. So I highly recommend getting an auto-ranging multimeter that measures voltage, ohms, or resistance, and amps. As you can see, this multimeter has the dial for what I'm going to measure, as well as a digital screen. And it also comes with two probes. These are called test probes. It comes with two often. Now these test probes are what you actually plug into your circuit to measure whatever you need to measure. And as you can see, these probes plug right on into my multimeter. Now I'm not gonna go super far in depth about multimeters in today's tutorial, but I will show you a few basic functions of one and just the general how to use one. For instance, I have a nine volt battery here. Say I wanna measure the voltage of this battery. How much voltage does this battery actually have? Well, with a multimeter, that's really simple to do. First, I'm going to turn my multimeter on to the voltage measuring position. That way I'm measuring DC voltage. Next, I'm going to take the battery here and look for the positive terminal, and I'm going to put the red probe on the positive terminal of the battery, like so, and I'm going to put the negative terminal on the negative terminal of the battery. As you can see, the multimeter is now going to start measuring the voltage of this battery. In this case, it's reading 8.89, so just below 9 volts. That's not too, too bad. It's as simple as that to use a multimeter. You put the probes between two things that you want to measure, select what you want to measure, like resistance or voltage, and voila, it'll give you the value. Now, it might not seem too, too useful right now, but as you begin building complicated circuits, it's going to help you out a ton. For instance, let me turn this to the ohms position. This way, I'm measuring resistance in ohms. As you can see, it's reading OL right now for open leads. And I'm going to show you that we can even measure the resistance of a body using a multimeter. If I just touch my fingers, whoops, to either end of the probes, you'll see that the multimeter will begin reading a random series of numbers that's going to approximate the amount of resistance that my body has between the two connections. It's going all over the place here, but it's looking like a hundred and... 15 kilo ohms. And of course it works the same way with a circuit, so you can even measure the resistance of a resistor if you wanted to. Again, I highly recommend that you have even a very simple multimeter at your disposal to use whenever you want, and I recommend that it be an auto-ranging multimeter. Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope to see you guys in the next electronics tutorial.